Hey everybody, it's Denea with Simply Denea Art, and tonight I am going to do a take two on the resin dishes I was trying to make. First of all, let me get things set up, and then we will get started. All right, welcome back everybody. So while I'm mixing this, I'm going to tell you guys a few things, and that's going to kill a little extra time so you're not watching paint dry. So... If you watched the video before this one, you've seen that I tried to make two resin sculpted dishes and it didn't quite go very well. Um, I tried something, this, this is a very new thing for me trying to make these. And here are some of the mistakes I made. First, the plastic I used was far too thick. Um, it was a painter's plastic. I should have used a thinner plastic. Two... I used the lids instead of these plates, and I think because they were about half an inch deep, it caused the one on the right to flash cure in the center. So when I was able to flip it over on a dish, um, it was already hard in the center, so it just wasn't doing what I needed it to. And then the other one took much longer to... Uh, cure up so I wasn't able to try to make them look you know like they were a pair <laughs> like I wanted to do uh, second of all I used some very big crystals you guys uh, like I said if you guys watched you'll have notice that I don't have those great big crystals on here this time they were far too heavy and all of them fell off so Lesson learned, those are just too big to do stuff like this. Um, the other thing I've done is I've switched out my plastic. I am using the window cling plastic that has the holographic to it. This one has tulips, um, and then this one has kind of that crackled look. And the idea behind that is I've already used this in a couple other ones I tried, and then when you peel it out, it has kind of a holographic design inside it, so that's kind of cool. And then the other thing I'm switching up is the colors a little bit. So this one right here is going to be black, silver, red with purple glitter. The one on the right is going to be black, gold, and um, the other color is called Herb, I think. Let's see, it's by AI Candy. It's U-B-E. Dark, dark, oob. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. But it's an incredibly dark purple that almost looks black. Um, and then I am using an iridescent glitter called Bones from the company Bugaboo. If you've not checked out Bugaboo, you really need to do that. They're a newer company. Um, they are based out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is where I'm from. So I'm super happy that I ran into them at an event. So pretty much at the moment, they are my go-to glitter. I have some glitters left from in the past that I've got from Amazon and stuff. None of them compare to the quality of the stuff I got from Bugaboo. All right, so now that this is mixed, I'm going to get it into my cups. Um, if you're going to do something like this, you want to make sure you have all of your cups, all of your colors, everything completely set up first. Um, be, if you're using the same resin I am, I am using KS resin, um, and it is liquidy split, which gives me about 15 minutes work time, give or take, and it'll set up in as quick as three hours and be cured in 12 to 24. So here we go. Let me quickly show you. Actually, I will do these first, and then I will show you how the other ones are looking right now. All right. Let me get these mixed into their small cups. Okay, let's get this going since I have a limited work time. All right, so this black is a black alcohol ink by Picasso. We have the gorgeous, gorgeous purple glitter. And this is another glitter by Bugaboo. This one is called Spellbound. Um, excuse the paint on the lid. I did that today doing a painting, but look how gorgeous this is. Oh, they're glitters. And then this has just a tiny bit of the black in it, mostly because I accidentally dropped it in there. Um, we have Yama, what is it? Yamagata. Yeah, Yamagata Red from Eye Candy. It is a pigment, a or a mica. 
I have a silver alcohol ink, and I can't remember which company this one is from. I use so many of the different companies for alcohol ink that I just can't remember. Um, this is 14 karat gold, again by Eye Candy. This is the most beautiful gold I have ever used. It is stunning. Uh, this is the color glitter called Bones. Again, from Bugaboo. Look at this. Is that not the prettiest glitter you've ever seen? And I will have a link for them below. I am not an affiliate, so unfortunately, I do not have a discount code or anything for them. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's something they'll give me in the future. But I'm pretty sure that they are going to be my go-to glitter now. And then that this is that very dark purple, again, from Eye Candy. It looks black in the package. So, all right, let's do this. I am sweating. For some reason, these black gloves always make me sweat. All right, let me try to pull this out again since the plastic is not as warm as it was. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge here with bones from Bugaboo. And this is just going to enhance those beautiful crystals because this is gorgeous. Like, I just want to, I just want a dress that is completely made of this glitter. Some walls, my desk, everything can just be this glitter. All right, and then let me try to see if I can kind of push this all together. don't necessarily have these as even as I would like. I do have iridescent gems and clear gems on this. Um, all of the gems are acrylic. Acrylic gems, most of them, not all, but most of them look just as beautiful as the glass ones. And you're going to save yourself some money by getting the acrylic ones. All right, there we go. Hopefully that will work. And then I'm going to come over to this one, and I'm going to put the silver around the edge for this one. So I'm just going to pour some of this on here. And then these ones are all clear gems. And same thing, I'm going to try to push those into there a little bit. This is something I hate about gloves. <laughs> the minute they get resin on them. They want to stick to everything, but they are a necessary evil because if you don't wear gloves, resin's pretty toxic. Um, I guess, depending on who you're talking to or what resin you're using, you should also be using a, a mask so you're not exposing yourself to the chemicals. However, I know from talking to the folks at KS and from reading their safety sheets that this is low to no VOC, so I should be safe. Now, when I am not making videos, I do wear my face mask. All right, then I think I'm going to pour the black right in the center. I'm going to top that off with some red. We're going to give this some purple. One of my customers gave me, I put up a post a few days back um, asking my customers for suggestions for colors and such. And she gave me the suggestion for those four colors. These ones I came up with on my own. So this one I'm going to start with the red. I am going to go to the purple. go and again I'm using chaos resin liquidy split again I don't have an affiliate code for them yet but I may see if they give me one since I pretty much work exclusively with their products as well all right then I'm gonna come back to this one I'm gonna do some more black Probably finish off the rest of the black I have in this cup or close to it 
Um, I did mix eight ounces. So what you're going to see divided between these is eight ounces. And I probably have a little more than I need. Um, but that's okay because I always keep other molds next to me that I can pour stuff in. And I have a little trinket mold next to me. So there's that. And then I think right here in the center we're going to do some of the silver. And we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat that same pattern. And this is starting to get warm, so I need to hurry my butt up. And that purple. And it doesn't matter how pretty I'm making it on here because um, I'm not going to leave it in rings like this. So... No worries there. And then I am going to put some more of this out here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with my popsicle stick here. All right. I am going to use this to push this all back a little bit. So I can give myself more working space and try my best not to get too much of that other color in here. Because I really want these to stand out and just be gorgeous. This is going to be the edge of the dish, should the dish turn out. I have faith it will this time. Okay. Oh, that's already so pretty. Spread this out a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing with that silver. A little more of the silver on here and then I'm gonna try to push them up the plate just a little bit I'm trying not to do it too much with my gloves because one I'm trying not to mix the two different plate colors and two if I can get right along the edge here then that is less risk of mixing the colors what I should have done is kept myself a little bit of the clear and I could have poured the clear in with these. That way I would have have known for sure they were all stuck into uh, the resin. All right, so now I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take my alcohol ink and I'm going to spray this one. I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to torch this one. I just want to see what... Well, I probably shouldn't have done that over the alcohol ink, but, um, yeah, I'm going to have to use alcohol ink on that one too. The torch just, in my opinion, does not take care of the bubbles. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to kind of come in and do this because I just want to kind of blend these colors together, but still have it so you can tell that the separate colors are there, right? There we go. So when you're making these plates, <laughs> uh, or bowls rather, I've heard some people say, oh, they're so easy. I've heard other people go, oh my gosh, they were so difficult. Um, I'm on the difficult spectrum. <laughs> I mean, they're not the hardest thing in the world, but they're definitely not easy. I have done a few of them now and had very few of them actually turn out. So if these two don't turn out, I may move on to something else for a while because resin is expensive. <laughs> and I like doing stuff like this so you guys can see it so we can all learn together. But I also don't want to uh, use all my funds on stuff that I can't recoup any of it from. All right, I'm gonna try to get this down in here. I think I might, oops, 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 oops. I might have to mix just a little bit more resin. All right, now this one I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna just do swirls. I just think that will look really pretty with these colors. And I'm gonna kinda of come around the edge a little bit. Um, I have a feeling that these are in the resin better than this one over here. 
So I might have to finagle the other ones. Ooh, so pretty. And whatever doesn't get into the resin when I pick this up later, uh, they will fall off and I can use them again. But I'd much prefer they were all in the resin. Okay. And because I'm not looking for a great big dish, I'm going to try to push these in a little bit more. Um, I really don't want it too much bigger than the last ones I tried to make. Slightly, but not too much bigger. All right, there we go. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing with these. Try to make sure I get them into the resin as much as possible. And I kind of have an idea of something I want to try over here. I'm just afraid I'll mess it up. So maybe I should just leave it alone. I was thinking about putting just a little bit of that purple glitter out here on the edge to hit these pieces that are not in the resin. And I think we're going to try. Just to see if it'll go down into those. And ensure that they are all in here where I need them to be. Because then I can push this down into them. I was going to do the black, but I'm pretty sure the black, because the black is more runny than the glitter is, will run down into them and just make those gems basically disappear. There we go. So much better. Ooh, this is getting warm. Oh, don't be escaping, Gem. Don't be escaping. We ain't playing this game. All right, that is already looking so much better than the last ones did. And then again, I'm going to come over here. Um, I do want to put a little more of the gold. Why it's still uh, cool enough to do that. Just around here. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. Maybe just try to bring it around the edge just a little bit. And maybe not even everywhere, just in spots. Here we go. Yeah, my last video, I totally thought, okay, this is just going to be a quick video. I'm not going to do sound. Oh, I'll just, I'll just voice it over. It'll be great. And, and, and it's just, it's not going to take long. And that is not what happened. <laughs> All right. And I have a little bit of this left that I can in some of the other spots and then let's try to push this back down in there all right I do feel much more confident about these than I did trying to do them in those lids the lids were just too deep and I think it made for a mess all right so those are done um, I'm gonna have to wait um, probably 45 minutes to an hour. Again, this is a fast cure resin by KS Resin, and it's called Liquidy Split. I just love their resins. I love their resins. But, this has got to be, I just don't like it just left there. Um, but because this is a fast cure resin, this happens a lot faster, which is good. I'm an impatient person, and to do it with regular resin, I would be waiting up to five hours to be able to do what I'm going to be able to do in probably an hour. So let me get rid of this extra resin, and I will show you those other containers. Okay, so I got my extra resin into... A little trinket dish that I'm starting. It's definitely going to need a lot more resin in it. Um, a lot of resin artists will have an extra uh, little mold or something setting around. And they will call it their dump mold because they dump their extra resin from a project in there. I prefer not to call it a dump mold because that sounds negative to me. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just dumping this stuff in here. So I prefer to call them my blessing mold because I'm blessed enough to have a little bit of resin left to make something out of it. So um, this is going to be a little blessing trinket dish. I'm going to see if I can spread that around in there a little bit while it is still movable. 
All right, and then the next time I make something, I will continue to fill that until it is filled. All right, so these are already looking pretty good. They're definitely not set yet since I just finished them. But let me show you guys the dishes from my other video. Okay, so you can see that there's a few of these big pieces left on here, but look at how heavy they are. Um, the colors are great. I wish the colors would have, I wish this would have been better. This is the one that flash cured. So you can see that it just, it made kind of a mess here. And then when I take the bowl out, um, I'm going to have to do some trimming cause like this is going to be uh, too thin. I'm probably going to have to trim this off because this is just too heavy. The dish may still be usable depending on what I do with it. I mean, yeah, if I, instead of trimming that up, put some um, UV resin on that spot, then these can probably absolutely still be a cute little uh, dish. However, they could have been a lot better. And then this is the second one. And this one's a little shallow on one side, you can see. Um, if not for it being more shallow on one side, this one actually turned out much better, much better. So I think part of the shallowness is the fact that I used those lids and it just wasn't quite enough. Um, you can see that these are going to be just slightly bigger than these. So I should be able to put them over top of a bowl like this and cover it a little bit more. That is the hope. So I got me 45 minutes to an hour to wait before I can check these. I will uh, try to check in so you guys can see what they look like when I get to that point. And then I will, at the end of the video, hopefully show you a nice finished product. If you feel like you've gotten anything out of today's video, please be so kind as to subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications to know when I'm live. I'm working really hard on not only learning as I go, but allow not allowing, but asking you guys to go along on the ride with me and hopefully teaching you guys something or at least giving you a visual entertainment while we're here. So again, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you back. Okay, we're back and we're going to try this. I noticed again, for some reason, the one on the right hand side has cured faster. Now, I'm not sure why I made sure I had the exact same amount of resin in both plates. In fact, if anything, I had a little less in the right plate. I really hate these gloves. I have to get different gloves. If anybody knows of a good source for good nitro gloves, please let me know. But we're going to try this and see, because this one, I don't know, this one seems like it's almost too far. But we're going to put it over top of this and see what happens. So, we'll see if it'll let me bend it down. Hopefully. Oh, the colors are so pretty. It's also a matter of making sure I have the center looks like it. All right, let's set that one aside a second. You guys will see the huge difference in this one. Get the plate out of here. All right. I mean, look at this one compared to the other one. It's just, it's crazy. This is how it should be. Is how this one is. All right, let's see. Get this nice and even on here. There we go. Oh yeah, see this one's doing much better than the other one. So we'll have to see how it turns out. I don't even think I'll have to do a whole lot with this one because this one's laying nice. It's like the perfect. Looks like it's the perfect height all the way around, which is nice. So let me play around with this one a little bit. Let me put a little bit of alcohol on my gloves. 
because they're sticking to everything, especially these gloves. These are so <laughs> one of these days I will actually find good nitro gloves. All right, I think what I'm going to have to do with this one is maybe tape it. Let's see. Um, the reason I spray my gloves with the alcohol is it makes it so it doesn't stick to the resin as much. Um, you don't want it to stick to the resin because, well, then your gloves are going to come off with it. All right, I think it might be okay. It bent nice for me. All right, so I am going to let these set for an hour or two and see how they go. And then I will see if I can get them off the plastic and show you guys how they look. I almost feel like this one needs to go that way just a tiny bit. There we go. Yes. So much better than the other ones. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to tape this one though. All right, I'm gonna get out of here and I will show you guys at the end of this video how they turned out. Okay, so it is the next day. Isn't that like magic? Like you guys are watching it three seconds or less later. It's the next day. It's kind of cool. Okay, so it's the next day and these are done. And I don't know what is going on with the light in here. But let me show you these to you. I am really happy with how these ones turned out. I'm going to do more um, in the style I did these ones, I think. I think a couple of things were different with these compared to the other two I did as far as how they turned out. One, I think perhaps my uh, resin was more consistent in each of them. Um, I think not using the bigger gems made a big difference. But look how pretty these are. Do you see how pretty that is? Look at that. That is gorgeous. Uh, this is the bottom of the gold. This one is the one that's the gold, red, and purple. Um, and it's swirled. Here's the interesting thing. Uh, you guys watched me swirl this. This is the this is the side you guys watched me swirl. This is the other side. Look at that. I don't know why it didn't swirl. It's kind of crazy because you watched me swirl it. But look, one of the things I wanted to show you is check out the inside of this. Do you guys see that holographic? Isn't that pretty? And that is because of the uh, plastic I put this on it has those holographic flowers on it. So that is really pretty. Okay, so that was the gold one. And then this is the one that um, one of my customers picked the color. Now her random word was, um, I think a lamp, not a lamp. Not the not a lamp shade, but like the base of a lamp. I unfortunately um, couldn't get it to turn out the shape I wanted to, so it's more like I don't know the shade of a lamp. <laughs> but the colors are great, and same thing. You guys watched me swirl it and everything, and we've still got a different pattern on the inside than we do on the outside. That's very interesting. Either way, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Now this one I used the other wrap and you can see uh, because this one has more holographic pieces to it, you'll be able to see more holographic in it, especially on that black. Look at that. But these are really pretty. Just wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to see those. Um, I suppose technically I should have my camera this way. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the video for you guys. But yeah, really nice. Really happy with how these turned out compared to the other ones. I mean, check out these other ones. Um, I trimmed them up this morning, and this is pathetic. It's pathetic. <laughs> so these will probably just end up, I don't know, maybe I'll use them to set a candle on or something just here in my office or in my studio. But yeah, just, just this was a learning experience. All right, guys, going to get out of here because this video is already kind of long and I will be back to do more videos. So please, if you would be so kind, if you got any value out of what I did today, smash that like button, uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you guys get notifications when I go 
and upload videos. And once I hit those 1,000 subscribers, you'll get notifications when I go live. Yay, bye. Have a great day.